Judgment day has arrived, and without further ado, the ballot result is as follows. Numbers balloted, 111,082. Ballot papers included in the count, 81,831. This is a turnout of 73.7%. Numbers voting now, 8,954. Numbers voting yes, for delivering what is undoubtedly a massive yes vote and also a great turnout. We also want to thank our representatives. The CWU is a union that passionately believes in strong workplace representation. It's what our union is based on and, and there's no doubt on this particular occasion we asked our members, our reps, sorry, to engage our members like never before and they've delivered for us. And turning to what the result means for the company, I don't think without any shadow of a doubt, what it must demonstrate is that the company's leadership, the board, the senior management team are completely out of touch with the workforce. And, you know, we say this to Royal Mail, these negotiations um, that subsequently led us to this point of balloting have been going on for about 18 months. And unless you shift your position significantly, very, very quickly, then industrial action is inevitable. I think what makes the result even more significant is that when Royal Mail was privatised, uh, coming up to about four years ago now, so, um, our members, postal workers, were given free shares. So what this result means to the company is as workers and as shareholders, Postal workers have completely rejected the direction that the company are going in and have completely rejected all of their messages to try and urge our members to vote against their union. I want to turn to what it means for customers, both the business world and the public. We believe that you know that postal workers are a great bunch of people. What they actually do every day is connect citizens across the UK in every city, in every town, in every village, and even the most remote rural areas. And you know what, what this dispute is about, whilst undoubtedly we've said it's a watershed dispute, and clearly our members and the union is ready um, to defend our members' pensions, their jobs, and their pay. What it's also about, and make no mistake about this, it's about defending your service. It's about defending a service that we've been proud to deliver for many, many years. And I know, and we know, that postal workers are really desperate to see a change in the approach from the company. They know that the world of communications is changing rapidly. We want to be part of that. And we believe that the only way that Royal Mail can be successful as a company in the future and adapt to this changing world is by investing in its greatest asset, which is its workforce. And we want to see, as part of this dispute, we want to see services improved, enhanced, and we want to see the company taking a much more ambitious approach to what it could be offering our customers and the business world, uh, both at a national level and local level. 